In the world of developing a product for roll-to-roll -roll processing, you have to look at both process development and product development. In the product development world, we're looking at the chemistries that are involved, the rheologies, the viscosities that are occurring from one family of fluids to another family of fluids. But what I want to concentrate on is the process engineering approach to process development for your product. When you're looking at that and you're dealing with a slot die, there are five main variables that you can attack in order to achieve an understanding of what your coding window is. The coding process window is the boundaries of where you can have your process set for a given fluid or family of fluids in order to have a product that meets your customer's specifications. So which are those five variables? The first one is the lip design. The slot dies have a certain geometry to the outside of their lips and that impacts how the fluid flow is going to be placed onto the web, how it's going to be smooth, and how it's going to look in its final form. The second variable is the lip gap. The lip gap is a cubic equation that tells you how that fluid is being sheared and the overall viscosity that's coming out. That has the biggest impact on the final velocity of the fluid. The third variable is the coating gap between the slot die and the substrate. And for that slot die to be in the right position for a thin coating, you need to precisely position the die to that substrate. The fourth variable is the offset of the upper and lower body. In some cases there isn't an offset, but you need to have the ability in order to offset that die when you're trying to learn what the process window is for a given set of family fluids. And the fifth and final variable that we want to look at is the attack angle of the die to the substrate. In some cases, it's just pointing directly to the center of the roll, tangent to the substrate. But in some cases, you need to be able to change that position so that the fluid has a different meniscus and is pinned to the substrate in order to create a different overall coating effect. With those five process variables, you can work with your chemist or your product development engineer and you will be able to create not only a coding window, but a product window that gets to the most effective product for your manufacturing capabilities. Mark's Coding Matters is a popular blog on paper, film, and foil converter online. To view further articles, visit pffc-online.com or the technical content section at slotdies.com.